New at six from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, the family of a veteran suffering from major health complications is desperate for help. This after they say the VA has continued to leave them for searching for some answers. ABC 7's Jason McNabb met with the family today and brings us this story. Heather Garropy once had a promising military career. She was healthy, you can see she was strong. But that was cut short eight years ago after she developed neurological disorders that have yet to be fully diagnosed. Now she's medically disabled at 32 years old. Her family says they're just trying to do anything at this point to improve her quality of life. The VA is working through their system, but they're really not built to diagnose these outliers like this. Rob Garropy, a retired U.S. Marine, is Heather's father. He says she was a successful putho linguist in the Air Force for six years. He believes a series of anthrax vaccines before deployment triggered her health issues, but that hasn't been confirmed by a doctor. She suffers from up to 30 seizures a day from any kind of sensory changes. These, along with severe migraines and gastrointestinal issues, keep her bedridden. I was at the point where it was so bad, we had to sell her home in Georgia, move her to New Mexico where my wife has family to help. Her family quit their jobs to care for her every day. They even built her the soundproofed and sensory-friendly casita to live in. When I met Heather, she was in so much pain she couldn't even talk. She had to answer on a writing pad. How have these last eight years been for her? I mean, I just, I can't even imagine. I'm controlling her from her work. She proceeded to write one singular word, hell. And then, in the middle of the interview, she had a seizure. We couldn't even continue talking. The family says it's hard to travel to any doctors because of her condition. They say bureaucracy within the VA has made it difficult to get the inpatient care she needs. Locally, I know for a fact the VA doesn't have inpatient. And then on the national level, it's so hard to work through the local level. We've been trying for three years locally. And so it's too difficult to get to somewhere that has it. And a lot of people tell us we just moved to the wrong location, which to me isn't a good answer. The Garropy family even got Congressman Gabe Vasquez involved to hopefully speed things up. They say he's been helpful. They appointed a home health care team for her. They started doing a lot of her appointments over video, which we've been begging for for years. They're now looking to improve her quality of life with a service dog, which can call for help in the event where Heather can't. However, Garropy says it won't be easy as the VA won't pay for the type of dog training Heather's condition requires. So right now she has an opportunity for a lady to come from Arizona. She's going to actually live on the property here in a motorhome and take the dog with Heather through the paces, uh, make that dog basically designed just for Heather. And so she's coming to Heather because Heather can't go get us. She's been denied because she couldn't go do the training of the other service dogs. Despite having problems with the VA system, Garropy stresses how hardworking all of Heather's doctors have been in trying to improve her quality of life. Those doctors bend over backwards. Her entire team has been amazing. That was ABC 7's Jason McNabb reporting. The family is asking for $50,000, of which nearly 18000 has already been raised. You can find the link to donate to the GoFundMe uh, page in the web version of this story on KVIA.com. ABC 7 also reached out to the VA of El Paso for comment on the Garropy family's situation. In a statement, a spokesperson said, quote, out of respect to the privacy of veterans we serve, we do not speak to the health care cases of individual patients without their consent. However, the El Paso VA health care system has been working closely with this veteran and her caregivers on the best health care options available.